everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. This is going to be our final colouring chat of November before we head into Christmas colouring stuff. We're just going to colour Christmas all month. I'm sure I'll do some other things but generally it's Christmas. So first of all this is a channel that is for adults. It is in no way shape or form uh, made for kids or intended for children. This is we have adult conversations. So we are going to be finishing off our picture in Tales from the Midnight Masquerade by uh, Hannah Calzon. Love this book. We are doing this lovely lady here. We're going to be finishing a headdress and doing a bit of a background. We're using the Pebbles Chalks. So let's get in on, carry on. So we are using the gold, glitter gold and the purple from the Sakura Jelly Rolls. So this will be just interesting. I've not got any plans on this, so I'm literally just going to colour it and see how we get on. Like I said, sometimes it w you will see that I've missed gaps and I will... I will go through the book again and I will um, go over uh, the gold. It's just that the angle I'm sitting on I can't see. So, how are you? Um, how are you holding it up wherever you are in the world? We're all great here. I have had a cold, as you know. I put it on that the... I was hoping to film this one a few days ago. I've still got it a little bit. I've got, got a sore throat and a cough and I keep losing my voice. So I have got to be careful. Um, but other than that, I feel much better. I have got a few videos up now. Um, I've obviously got to film tomorrow well tonight because it's the 30th today you're seeing this i'm filming this on sunday but you'll be seeing it on the 30th um i've got to film my completed pages for the month of november i'm off the screen again i do apologize um yeah i got to film that one which is fine I've got to film that one and then and that's it I've done the rest so a lot of videos coming your way in the next week so I do hope you will enjoy them I, I you know we obviously got the um, weekly vlog glowing up the same day so you get two videos today you lucky people so you get two for the price of one because you've got um, my weekly vlog and of course you've got this so if you don't enter the interview weekly vlog we do talk about um, some things that were in the news this week um, Bristol Zoo is moving from its current location to um, a new location they already own it and they already have um, animals there it's a place called the wildlife project which is in Gloucestershire it's over by um, a, a great big uh, shopping mall called Cribs Causeway it's going to be so much better for the conservation work they want to do so much better for the animals the the current location um, where Bristol Zoo and Gardens is is only 12 acres and that's up in Clifton in Bristol the new location, the Cribs Causeway location, is 126 acres, so you can imagine that that's going to be so much better for all the animals. So while it, it, you think, uh, well, we think it's sad because it's been in that Clifton location for over 180 years. I mean, so my dad said they've wanted to move it for a long time out to that area, um, and they kept getting denied permission. But now it's finally happening and I think it's good. I mean, for my dad it's mixed because he used to go there a lot. And if you watch the vlog you can hear a few stories about some of the animals and keepers that worked there. You know, he, um, he spent a lot of time there. And also in the news uh, this week was the last couple of days was, was well it's yesterday in fact Sunday uh, the news that David Prowse died he was the man behind the suit of Darth Vader he was also uh, the Green Cross Code man but he also grew up in Bristol 
and uh, he knew my parents, well my parents knew him. My mum apparently better than my dad, I didn't know that but there you go. You learn something new about your parents every day. Um, he threw my dad out the dance hall where he was a bouncer. My mum knew him, 10 pin bowling. So we talk about that as well. So we'll also talk a bit about Cary Grant because my dad, well, met Cary Grant, although that, sort of, that'll be in another, he'll tell the story in another video. Um, and he met Diana Dawes once, among others. He's met a few people in his time. So. Talk about that among other things. It's all good fun. I'm thinking, and that doesn't happen very often. As you know. <laughs> so we've got, uh, yeah, it's been a very, very odd weekend, what with Bristol, the news about Bristol Zoo and David Prowse. Yeah. No, it's like my dad said, they're all, I mean, he's five years older than my dad, so. Yeah, it is what it is. We all, uh, it's just interesting, the, the stories my dad tells, and I've wanted to get them onto a video for a while. Because I think it would be a shame if some of these anecdotes were lost because they do tell a, a story about the times of the, the 50s and 60s culture and and what it was like growing up then. And you can read it in books, but to hear somebody tell the story, it's even better. So it is nice to, to be able to, to get that. So, yeah. Bless him. So Paul's got the cold now. This always happens. Jennifer gets it, she passes it to me. I pass it to Paul. And it goes all the way around the houses again. So next it'll be it'll be Jennifer, me, Paul. So Paul's been ordering a lot of Christmas presents. Some for me, some for Jennifer. I've got his one of his on order. I'm just waiting for it. If it ever comes, you know what it's like sometimes. Um, I get paid tomorrow, so I will be doing my Christmas shopping then. So there's not going to be many books bought because obviously I've got to make sure I can get that sort of stuff sorted out first. That's far more important than colouring books, sadly. But it is what it is. Paul is still getting me the carry in heaven for my for Christmas, so I'm happy. I love my colour in heaven, as you know. Still got some first impressions videos to come. I've got two ready to go, uh, which is the uh, Arteza 120 Expert coloured pencils. And very soon I will be doing the same with the Arteza 120 uh, watercolours because I've got those as well. I love watercolour pencils, so I can't wait to have a go at them. Uh, let's go back to the other gold for a minute. So yeah, it's, it's yeah we've got plenty coming up on the channel. There's lots of flip throughs. Some of them I'm not sure whether or not they're going to work because for some reason it stopped uploading certain files onto YouTube. So I don't know if they're going to work, but I'm going to try them on my new laptop because I've just bought a new laptop because mine's getting old, it's slow. So I bought one with a, a solid state drive, which is supposed to, supposed to be quicker. So I'm hoping it will be. But I don't know because I've never had one before. So that will be interesting. I mean, I, I like it. I've... I've set it up, I just haven't put anything on here. <laughs> Literally all I've done is put the Wi-Fi password in and set up the computer so it knows who I am. So. It's all good, it's a, it's a nice looking computer. So what I need to do is I'll transfer those files, I'll put them onto a, a memory card or a memory stick and uh, transfer it over. 
and then I'll try and upload one and if it works, fantastic. I've also got to get all my passwords set up on it and all my um, programs that I want to use. I don't want as much on it as is on the other one and I will be removing a lot of stuff that is on the other one. But uh, what I want is to not overwhelm it, keep it nice, keep it clean. Part of the idea is to try and keep everything out of the living room so that it's more of a space for us as a family to be, so it's not full of my colouring stuff, which is mostly for film, although there is colouring stuff in there because I colour it in the evening sometimes. In fact, there's three books down there at the moment. Well, two books and the Johanna Basswood calendar, which I haven't done anything on for ages, so... If we're watching TV over the next few days, I might watch that then. You know, that's what I tend to do, is I just think, oh, I'm going to colour this now for a little bit. And That's what I do. Yes, that. Up. Sure, I'll have a little bit of this one now. But yeah, she's. I like this one. I like. I like this picture. I think she's lovely. I really like this book as well. I think this book is absolutely stunning. Yeah. I really love this book. So we're going to do the background in a minute. I'm going to use the Pebbles Chalks. Um, I'm going to do a strange effect with it. It's sort of like a bokeh effect, but it's not. So today, Jennifer, we went to my mum's house after we'd been our shopping, actually went and cuddled with the dog. She's been ter she's terrified of dogs normally because uh, she had a couple of them jump up, uh, up in the canal and she just gets scared, especially when they run at her. She still doesn't like that. If they're still, she's perfectly happy. Um, and the owner of the nursery she goes to has got um, a poodle or a cockapoodle or something, a cockapoodle, something like that anyway, it's a small dog. Looks like Waffle the Wonder Dog, only smaller. So of course, because it looks like Waffle the Wonder Dog, she loves it. So of course, she's been petting that one and she wants to see Paul's mum's dog all the time, though we won't let her pet Shadow yet, because Shadow's very, very flighty very very jumpy she's a dash and and she does nip at people she won't nip at me and paul she's known her since well since uh, sally got her paul's mum's got her so she's fine with us she loves us um and jennifer loves looking at her but for ages she wouldn't even go near rose she wants to, and then she started to say saying rose wants to see rose she wanted to see rose so we thought well that's good we'll let her see it and then today she was like, I want to see Rose. I said, you want to see Rose? I said, do you want to stroke Rose? And she was like, yeah. I said, do you want Mummy to come? I, so I took her out into the, the dining room where they put her while Jennifer's there normally. And she was stroking her and she was put, burying her head in her fur because she's, of course, being a rough collie, she's very, very furry, very, very cuddly. And she was laughing and, and giggling. And then Rose came into the living room for a little bit, just a little bit. Um, when uh, uh, Dad was making a cup of tea and she uh, was quite happy. She didn't like it when Rose came in because Rose was moving towards her and she doesn't like that. But when Rose was in, she was fine with her. So we let her stay in for a bit, not too long because Jennifer gets overexcited and that might freak the dog out because she's very, very, she's very placid but like sharp screeches and that will get her excited too and we didn't want that happening because she might snap she has snapped at me and I, I obviously don't take it personally it's just if you catch her wrong and then of course she had another cuddle with rose before we left which was great so that's great <coughs> 
and she is now playing with Rose and cuddling Rose and it's really nice to see her starting to get over that fear of of dogs so it's taken a while but it is getting there so we're really pleased Sorry if you haven't been able to see much. I'm a bit useless today. <laughs> so lots of um, Christmas videos coming. I hope we won't be doing um, Vlogmas. Because some days I just don't bother to vlog and they'd be very short if I, if I did that. So we're just going to do the weekly vlog as we normally do. And then I will probably take a couple of days off over Christmas. I'll probably end it up on, on Christmas Eve. Um, until um, after Boxing Day. Just have a few days off. Just me and the fam. Not worrying about getting videos up i won't be f filming the weekly vlog i'm going to take complete time off for christmas eve christmas day and box day i might film a little bit christmas eve um because my dad's 80th birthday so we might film a bit then but that'll be it but definitely christmas day and boxing day i will not be filming anything at all no vlog no colouring I mean it doesn't mean to say I won't put a colouring up if I've got one but um, there'll probably be some in the bag flip throughs if they if I can get them to upload and if they don't I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to have a nice break with my family it's been one hell of a year and it's not looking like the beginning of next year is going to be much better they're not they're thinking we're not going to start getting back to any kind of normality till April because that's when they estimate the vaccine's going to be uh, have been being distributed so they're hoping to start it in December-ish and they're hoping by April they'll got round the majority of the people but we'll have to see how it goes like I said I'm quite happy working from home I don't really want to go back to the office I know it's just one of those things but I don't I prefer it I miss my friends at the office but I don't miss the hassle of getting there and you know doing all that so let's just see what happens probably have a one-to-one -one in the next week with my my manager she's been off for a fortnight i've had a one-to-one -one for a couple of months because i've been off she's been off so on so on it's all good fun right there we go There we are, beautifully done. That is her done. I'm just going to let that dry, just check that we've got all of it. I mean, obviously I need to just tidy up the, the gold, which I will do. Just put those back in their box. I need to get a proper box for those. I can't see me using the um, fluorescent ones, though, just because I'm not a fluorescent person. So what I've got here is I've got the classic chalks. I'll just move this out of the way so I can show you the pebbles. As you can see, Pebbles Classic Chalks. And we're going to do um, some different colours for the background and we're just going to go around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over at this side at the bottom and work my way up. But rather than use the tiny little ones that it comes with, I'm actually going to use a cotton wool ball. I'll do just one of these. And I'm just going to run it over the two chalks you have these it, the only problem with that is it does tend to pick up the balls so i'll just pop them there for a minute while i'm doing this one and i'm just literally going to um if you won't be able to see it much i'm just going to pop on a little bit of the different colors like that it's, it's just a very very plain background just to give it a little bit of a pretty effect and I'm just going to use the same cotton bud and pick up more baubles and we're just going to go like that 
So we've got the yellow, we've got a bit of orange. Like so, it's a sort of like a little bokeh effect. We're going to go with a, a bit of blue. There's a bit of blue going on. Like so. It's very faint on the camera. It's very faint actually. And then we'll have a bit of green, which is a light green. Let's just get that on there. A little bit of green. Just a very simple background. And then we're going to come up here and we'll go back to this one, a bit of yellow. It's gone on to the next page, but that doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to go around the page with the yellow first and just do it all, all with the yellow. Like that. I'll just zoom it out a bit. The yellow. We'll have a bit more, bit of the, uh, I'll have another bauble. They do fill up very quickly with it. I'll have the uh, orange. I'm just going to come across there, a bit of orange. Get as much on as you want. There we go. It's just a slightly different way of doing it. Yes. Could do it with baubles, but uh, it might take a bit longer. I mean, we've got plenty of time left, so I'm not worried about that, but, you know, we haven't been, we've only been 20 minutes, so, but, a bit more orange there, a bit at the bottom, then we'll go with the uh, blues, a bit of blue, What I like about the pebble chalks is they're not so dark that you think, oh my god, I've wrecked it. And I don't often use them. Very rare I use them, actually. <coughs> These days, but I do like them. A little orange there, I think. There we go. But definitely a bit more just the orange. That's it, that's better. And then we'll just find another clean bit. Oh, let's have another one. <laughs> and then we'll go around with the light green. Oops, picked up a bauble. And another one. <laughs> we'll just pick up the light green. Just go around like that. It's not a very dark effect at all. It's very, very light. But it just looks like there's something going on in the background. I have missed one of the balls around her neck, so I'll, I'll get the uh, purple out and we'll just finish that one off. That, that looks nice. And, you know, that is literally just cotton wool balls. I've got them all back now because it's pulled out loads of these little ball balls from various ones. And they're everywhere. Um, that would be that one. So I don't really worry about well, if I lose these because they're not you can just use like I said like a cotton wool ball I've been using let me just get that purple back because I've missed a purple ball ball here just on her neck let's just go back in here just here there we go and that's it I'll just show you the background I don't know if you can see it very well it's just a up in the top corner you just just see if it focuses in a minute it will in a minute that, just that little faded just a little bit of background there so this is finished I'm happy with this I'll just uh, put a piece of paper in there and I'll probably spray it with fixative a bit of hairspray basically just to make sure that those pebble chalks don't bleed onto the next page so that is our girl from Tales from the Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson. I've really enjoyed doing this one. I, I admit, I really like this book. And, um, yeah, I want to do more from this. So, yeah. 
definitely enjoyed this one. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chart and I hope you've enjoyed this picture with me. Whoops. If you have, let me know what you think of the final product down below. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will, of course, see you in December. Thanks, guys. Bye now.